Day in Lansing, Governor Gretchen Whitmer laid out her budget proposal today. Political reporter Rick Alvin here now to show us what's in it. Rick? In all of the governor won $67.1 billion for the budget year starting October 1st. That's in addition to another $5 billion she's already asked the legislature to approve for COVID relief. Her new budget features record spending for public education of $14.7 billion and includes a per pupil increase of between $84 and $164. The general fund, which pays for most other government functions, is at $11.4 billion. A large part of the budget will be for health and human services as always. The governor now needs the help of a sometimes reluctant legislature to get the more than $70 billion approved. I know that we don't agree on every policy decision that's been made, but those are powers that reside in the executive office for a reason, because the buck has to stop with the governor, especially when we are in the midst of a public health crisis. We can dig in and stay focused on all the things we don't agree on from last year, or we can look forward and really work together to absolutely support the ability of our state to bounce back um, and be stronger than ever. And that's what the people of Michigan expect us to do. House Appropriations Chair Thomas Lowell, uh, Thomas Albert of Lowell, speaking of using one times federal funds, said in a statement, quote, we must remember that state tax revenues are declining sharply. Our finances are propped up by artificial and temporary federal COVID relief. It is not sustainable. The legislature is supposed to have a budget to the governor by July 1st. Sue.